Sophia here with a quick reminder. If you enjoy what you watch today, help out by liking the video and subscribing to help out even more. Thank you. What is up, Breezy Sonic fans in the Ring Army? My name is Nice, or Anthony, and welcome back to another video. Today I have for you all a new unboxing, and this is of the new Sonic Movie 3 Shadow Deluxe plushie. So my last video was about me talking about this plushie, and it just came today after I ordered it. It took like three days for it to get here, so that was pretty quick. I was coming back from class, and I got an email saying that it got delivered, and I got my sister to get it for me. It came in a very big box. Look at this. And it's also very light as well. Now, I was very lucky, and I got it once it was on sale but unfortunately I think right now at the moment they are sold out but if you want to try to get one for yourself I will leave the link down below and who knows maybe if you're lucky enough you will get one for yourself once you're back in stock now if you missed my previous video I mentioned that this plushie does not talk at all it's similar to the 2022 Sonic plushie from the second Sonic movie if you don't know what plushie I'm talking about it's this one from 2022. So this is the fuzzy one. And it's actually a very high quality plushie. So of course this is the deluxe Sonic the Hedgehog plushie. And this new shadow one is exactly like this one. And it doesn't talk either. It's just, you know, good looking. And without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, taking out the deluxe shadow the Hedgehog plushie for the first time now. Woo! Now look at this beauty. Wow, this looks nice. Well, here's a good look at him inside the package. Side view, back view, another side view, and the bottom view. It looks exactly like how it looked on the Target website. All right, so now let's take him out of the package. All right, taking out the Shadow Deluxe plushie out of the wrapping now. Wow. We don't need another wow, okay? So here he is out in the open, and he looks pretty, pretty incredible. Like this plushie, is very well made actually wow it's better than the walmart one that people have been buying recently and i have been trying to find it but ever since i found out about this plushie i just gave up on trying to find that one and i got this one instead and i'm very glad that i did because i mean look at this guy here's a closer look at the side of the box to see the clear view of the new shadow the hedgehog render well it's not new but it, you know it's another clear view of it and the side is the same overused sonic movie 2 render of sonic and knuckles and tails are by his side as well all right let's take him out of the packaging first time taking him out the box and here he is in all his glory Wow! So first impressions, very, very soft as the Sonic Movie 2 Deluxe plushie. Actually, just do a little comparison. Yep, same size, same material, same look, same everything. So he does have the arc click, is that how you pronounce that word? But he does have like the hard plastic eyes. A back view of his quills looks pretty nice with the red. The red looks amazing. So the patch of white fur that he has on his chest is sadly not like its own fluffy thing. It's sewed into his body so he doesn't have like separate hair unfortunately. Closer look at his hands and his gloves. Pretty good. Another back view of his legs and his shoes and he does seem to have like a red stripe on his leg. Look at that. I don't know if he's always had that as like a 2D character or this is like their own unique take on the, sh the, the movie version of Shadow. The shoes are not hard, they're very soft. I do like how this plushie has the uh, the red eyeliner. I'm sorry if that's not eyeliner, but I'm gonna just call it eyeliner for now. But yes, he does have the red around his eyes. And of course, his famous frown. Overall, this is a really, really cool plushie. It's also budget friendly. This is like around $20, but I pay $28 because of shipping. But if you're lucky enough to find this in stores, if you have 20 bucks around, this is, this is worth it, I would say. So what are you guys' thoughts about this new Shadow plushie? Do you like it? Do you like the way it looks? Is there anything that you would have changed about the plushie to make it look better or even nicer? In my opinion, he does look pretty good. Like, I mean, for $20, this is a pretty cool plushie. I would just change the fur part, like, to make it, like, fluffy and, you know, poofy like that, you know. But this is pretty good, I would say. And for the last time, no... He doesn't talk, neither does this one. They're both the same. Anyways, if you did enjoy my unboxing and review about this new plushie, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to join the Ring Army. My name is Nice, and I'll see you guys on the next run.